Hello, folks. I'm at the top of Dick's right now. It's pretty blustery. Uh, I can't find a benchmark, but there's like pretty awesome views. You can see actually yeah, the Green Mountains out there. You probably can't see it too well in here, but 4,857 feet. Number 29 on my 46. That's pretty good. Um, but we still got another 6.6 .6 miles to get back to the parking lot. We've gone, gone about 11 or 12 or so. So that in itself is a pretty good day. We've still got a long ways to go. Um, got five 4,000 footers done today, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm lower because it's a bit blustery. Um, and up there is the summit there. I don't want to spoil the views though. But we can like see giant through the trees there. See it better on the summit. But yeah, it's been cool. Um, we're going to start heading down in a minute. Um, yeah, uh, and there's the back horn over there. I, I stashed my pack down in the column between, so I have to go to get that. Bye. Hello, folks. So this is our first checkpoint on the LT, um, and we've gone about three miles, and we're getting started on the LT now, and yeah, welcome to the channel. There's the sign here, and, uh. We're at the southern terminus right now, and we're south to north. And that's my dad off there. And we're switching off people. And he's going to be switched out with my mom in like two days or so. And then it'll continue sort of with that, like with my grandpa too. And it's we're trying to get to the Compton shelter today. It's still 10 miles away, but it's pretty flat. And we're going to do a 3,000 footer on the way too that's on the trail. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. Cool. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted. Bye. Hello, folks. I'm at the summit of Harmon Hill right now. Um, it's pretty nice. This hill is 2,325 feet high. Uh, we're 2.5 miles from the Congdon Shelter and about 1.8 from the Route 9 crossing. There's a sign right here. It says Harmon Hill stuff. And then here's the ATLT register. And I wrote some stuff in there. Uh, you can, you got some good views of Bennington. Probably can't see it too well on this camera, but I can see down to the Bennington Battle Monument and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, we're doing good. We have been going for about an hour and five minutes or so. Uh, first real views on the whole trail so far. And um, we're 12.5 miles from the border. And we're doing good. How are you doing, Dad? Good. Cool. Yeah. So... We'll see you down at Route 9. Bye. Hello folks. I'm on top of the I'm on top of the Glastonbury Fire Tower right now. Um, we got like great views up here. Uh, we, we're gonna come up here later tonight so we can see some fireworks because it's the fourth of July. But um, here out here, you can see at the Stratton there, north to Killington and the Taconics, such as like Equinox and Dorset, and then Bromley and the Styles Range. You probably can't see it too well in here, but closer ones here are like snow and haystack mountain that can be seen pretty well um those are both 3,000 foot and you can see on the mount Maria lock in massachusetts where we started pretty much almost where we started we can see down the seth warner mountain which was yesterday's high point um we're about 28 miles from the border and um today was 14.7 miles 15 miles if you include the summit of um, Glastonbury. We're camped out a little ways down the slope there at the Goddard shelter, about 0.3 miles. So uh, we're going to head back down there soon and then we might come back up later. Um, tomorrow there's a pretty high chance of rain, so we're just trying to get the peaks on. Bye. So, uh, uh, number 70. Four. We did a recount of my 3,000 footers, and I'm actually a couple down because we didn't quite make the summits of those. But here it is here, Gla Ma Glastonbury Mountain, North Peak. There was a bit of a bushwhack off the trail, but um, about half a mile, but uh, it was okay. It's raining right now, so we're going to move out of here pretty quick. Uh, yeah, bye. Hello folks, uh, I'm standing on top of Stiles Peak right now, 3,394 feet. Um, it's my 76th 3,000 footer. And I know Bromley was a 3,000 footer, but I did that about five years ago. So I've already been up that one. 
but it was still pretty cool. Anyhow, uh, there's a view over there. Through the trees. Yeah, you can see out west or east, sorry, to Mount Cardigan. <clears throat> yeah, like the surrounding hills. Um, and then there's about 1.6 up here from Mad Tom Notch, and then there's about 3.5 from the woods here too. The place we're gonna camp out tonight. Uh, we're gonna go over Peru. <coughs> sorry, old <Knoll> bar. <laughs> gonna go over Peru Peak, which is 3,429 feet, and then drop down to Griffith Lake Tenzing area. Bye. Uh, hello, folks. I'm at the summit of Killington Peak right now. Really awesome day for this. I'll step over here so I can show you the southern parts. So way down there you can see Stratton and Glastonbury with uh, Bromley, Stiles, and Peru. And that's how far I've come. And then there's the Taconic Range with Dorset and Equinox. And down here there's um, Menden Peak and Little Killington. I can see where we're going. That's Pico Peak. Up north we have Redloaf and Wilson. Abe and Ellen. You can almost hunt Bolton and Mansfield. So I can see a long ways from where I'm going. Um, great views. Can't wait to get up there. It's really nice up here. Four, first 4,000 footer on the trail so far. Uh, this is my second time up here. So yeah, it's not my first time for a 3,000 footer. So yeah, we're going to head over to Pico. We've got another eight miles left today. Hello folks, I'm at the summit of Gillespie Peak, uh, 3,366 feet, it's the high point of the day, um, my girl was just down there, uh, we ran into a big thunderstorm so I was unable to take a picture on the top of uh, Cape Lookoff Mountain, so this is number 80 for me on the New England 3,000 footers, uh, there's a bit of a view through the trees here. Bit interesting. Um, but there was this huge thunderstorm that rolled in, and um, we had to hunker down the rain fly over down in the call down there. And um, we got through it, and it really cleared up nicely. The storm moved, the storm moved easy, but that was a bit interesting. <laughs> Bye. Hello, folks. Um, I am standing at the summit of Mount Grant right now. Um, this is the last peak of the day. It is 3,628 feet, but it's got great views of the area that we've passed over today. Down here is Mount Cleveland with Little Hans Peak and Mount Roosevelt. We drop up to, we go up to Mount Wilson and Redloaf. And way down there, I can see Killington now. It's cleared up a lot. I can also see down to Mount Escutney and up the Northfield Mountains here. It's a pretty nice viewpoint. Um, still another four or so miles down um but it's been really fun today it really cleared up a lot so i'm really excited tomorrow because we'll be going down the uh mount ellen ridge uh, on lincoln mountain bye hello folks i'm at the summit of mount abe right now i've climbed this one before 4006 feet um Great views. We got out to the whites right now, Franconia Ridge and Moose Lock, the Presidential Range of Mount Washington. High. To the west, we have Whiteface Mountain, Giant Mountain, Mount Marcy, and the rest of the Great Range with Dix, which I just did last month. Way out, way down here, we got Redloaf, Wilson, Grant, Cleveland, and Roosevelt, and all the way down to Killington. So I can see down to Killington, but I can't see any further than that. It's pretty cool. Bye. Hello, folks. I'm at the summit of Burnt Rock Mountain right now, 3,158. Um, it's the start of, like, day 14, I believe. I'm losing count of everything. But my dad uh, is back on the trail. Uh, he switched out with my grandpa at Apgaf yesterday around 5. Um... This mountain is my 90th or 91st 3,000 footer. I, I, I've lost track of that as well. But it's got great views. Um, we can see uh, east to the White Mountains, such as Musilak and Franconia Ridge, as well as the Presidentials with Washington as the highest. And the Granite Hills, Knox, Butterfield, Signal, and Spruce. 
then we're going to see where we're going to go up to later today. Ira Allen and Ethan Allen and Camel Sump with Ethan Allen East Peak and the Worcester Range in the background. To the south, there's General Stark Mountain, Lincoln Peak, and Mount Ellen. And way down there, Killington. Um, over there is the Adirondacks. It's laid out as the Dixes and Giant, as well as the Great Range and Whiteface. So it's a pretty cool summit. Um, there's We're going to expect some scrambling going down to Ladder Ravine. And I think there's going to be a lot of ladders because that's what it says in my guide. But that'll be fun. And yeah, bye. Hello, folks. Welcome to the summit of Bolton. Uh, this is my first descent of this and also my last first descent of it. We're pretty, it's pretty late right now. It's around 7.30 or 8. And um, there's just another half mile down to the puffer shelter. Uh, it's a beautiful day up there. Evening. So, I don't know. There's supposed to be a storm tomorrow, so I'm going to get ready for that because we're going over Mansfield tomorrow. Uh, 3,725 feet. There's the sign right up here. It's a wooded summit like most of these summits, but um, there are views farther down that are pretty good, like uh, Harrington's view, which is about three miles from here. Um, it's been a good day. We've gone about, we're, we've gone about 16 miles today from... Um, Bamforth Ridge Shelter, and I think we're ready to finish up the day because it's been pretty long. Um, we had a ton of trail magic down in the Winooski uh, River Valley, and that was awesome. Got a lot of candy stacks here, and yeah, so we're gonna head down to the puffer and finish up the day. Bye. Hello, folks. I'm someone in Mansfield, where I just was like a month and a half ago or so. The wind's whipping. We can really see the Sterling Range today. You know, it's the day. It's really great to be up here. My 16th time up here. Uh, we got the benchmark right here. We expected the T storms today to be striking like right now, but we haven't heard anything. It's only like 0.6 down to the Taft Lodge, so we're doing pretty good. It's around noon, so. We're really whipping this out. Uh, the needle's eye wasn't too bad. It, it was, but like in the, when it's wet, it would be too bad. That's down at the forehead. Um, so I think I'm gonna cut out now because the winds are picking up and we're gonna head down to Taft. Bye. Hello, folks. I am back at the summit of Madonna Peak, 3,668 feet above sea level. And I'm sorry I misled you. This is actually my 95th. It was a bit of a mix-up. Spruce Peak was my 94th. Uh, but it's cleared up a lot since it dumped down the road last night. Right there is Mansfield, Spruce Peak, Mount Dewey, Mount Mayo, Bolton, Camel's Hump, Mount Ethan Allen, and all the way down to Ellen. And over here we have the Whistler Range, and, which is Mount Hunger, Mount Putnam, Mount Whistler, and Whistler Mountain. So, um, it's pretty, pretty good views. I'm glad it cleared up a lot. We can see the chin pretty well from this angle. Um, and Taft Lodge is somewhere down there below the chin. So that's where I stayed last night. Um, this is, I know this may be artificial, but it's still pretty cool. Um, and I think we're going to go down and have a snack and then take off soon. Bye. Hello, folks. Um, I'm at Laraway Lookout right now. This is about a little less than half a mile before the summit of Laraway. But it's a pretty cool lookout. I can see down to Mansfield from here and the Sterling Range. So right there is Sterling Mountain slash Whiteface Mountain. Then there's more, it's kind of blended in with Madonna, which is the jagged one. Sterling Range Northwest Peak, and I think I can kind of see Spruce back there. Then Mansfield, which is in the clouds. Uh, over here, I can see Elmore, Worcester Mountain, Middle Worcester, and Putnam. Mountain, um, but we can't see much else south. It's pretty hazy today. Um, up Laraway is 2,790 feet, and right now we're up at about 2,650 feet. Um, it's a bit blustery up here. I think some thunderstorms might roll in later in the day, so I think we're gonna have to keep moving to get to first ledge camp, which is still about nine miles from here. Bye. Folks, I'm in the Belvedere Fire Tower right now. So I'm in the Belvedere 3,360. Awesome today. It's still really cleared out. Down the Camel Cape and Mount Ellen. Bolton. Mansfield. Sterling Mountain. Sterling Range Northeast Peak. Or West Peak, rather. Mount Putnam. Middle Worcester. Worcester. Mount Elmore. Uh, Mount Norris. The Knoll. The Lowell. North, 
Cannon, Gilprin, and Domi's Dome. And then Big J and J. And West J. Um, so we'll get there in a couple days. Or tomorrow I'll be on top of J. So um, it, still, it still looks a little ways, but I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, Summit of Gilpin Mountain right now. It's a wooded summit. Not super interesting. 3,015 feet above sea level. And um, it's my 103rd 3,000 footer of New England. Uh, we were just looking for a summit canister, but I don't think there is one. So uh, we're just going to head down in a minute because the bugs are getting bad. Uh, this is day 20, and my dad's back in. Right. And um, tomorrow we're going to finish up. So that's going to be fun. And we're going to get some lunch on top of J Peak because there's a restaurant up there. Bye. Hello, folks. I'm at the summit of J Peak right now, 3,858 feet above sea level. Um, I've already done this one, so it's, it's, I forget what number it was. I did it last year. But it's got really good views. We can see pretty much everything down to uh, Mount Ellen that I've done. So there's Big J. I did that last year. Cold Hall Mountains, High Point, Gilpin Mountain, Domi's Dome, and then Buchanan Mountain, then Haystack Mountain, Tillotson Peak, and Belvedere, with the whole Worcester Range in the background with Elmore at the end. There's Mount Norris, and then the Sterling Range. I can see Sterling and Madonna and Mansfield. And then way down there, in between Mansfield and the Sterling Range, it's Bolton, and then what you can barely see is Camel's Hump and Mount Allen. To the northeast, we've got Owl's Head and a bunch of other peaks in Canada. Uh, with Carlton Mountain, which I'll be climbing tomorrow, and Burnt Mountain. And right there, North J and Dome Peak. And the summit bench camps right here. So, yeah. It's, um, it's a bit of a steep climb up, but it's pretty nice views at the top of so. I'm only about 10 and a half miles from the border now, so that's pretty good. Bye. Hello, folks. I am at the borderline. Here's post 592. Um, this is the end of day 21. I got here at about 12, 15 or so. But um, in here is the sign for the northern terminus of the long trail. So, I have a picture of the southern and northern terminus. Here it is right here. The long trail, northern terminus. Um, my nana and my grandpa just went down to the journey's end, which is 1.3 miles away. And um, we're going to head down in a minute, too, and get, and get in the car and go home to get some pizza. Phoebe, please. Bye. So back at one of the first viewpoints today, there was a couple more down there, but we got some great views over here. Um, we've got the Granite Hills right there, Mount Musilock, uh, Lincoln, Lafayette, and the Presidentials out there. And we got Mount Hunger up here. Uh, that, that's the one that we're going to climb after White Rock, which is up there. And um, looks like we got some slab climbing, so um, I think that's, that might be... Uh, that might take a little longer, but other than that, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, we're about, um, yeah, so it's about 10.30 right now. So, we're almost right on schedule. We're probably 15 minutes ahead. So Yeah. Yeah. Should be pretty good. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Hello, folks. We're up to some of Mount Putnam right now. This is my 105th 3,000 footer in New England. As I said, I've already climbed Mount Hunger, so that one count for this but it's a wooded summit like most of these are it's not like hunger or white, white rocks mountain but um it's 3642 feet in the highest point of the day um uh we've gone about six miles or so so we still got another about ha almost halfway through the day but we got a steep downhill after this and then some flat and then a gradual uphill to the next peak so yeah 
How are you doing? Goodbye. Me, I'm doing great. We're keeping along at a decent pace. We were flying through this morning and now we're starting to slow down a bit, but it's okay. We're still having fun, so yeah. Yeah. Got about uh maybe four hours or so until his mom's gonna pick us up, so um, I think we can probably clear about six and a half miles in that time. So yeah. This isn't even the trail, Dad. No, I know. I was trying to get. Sorry. Goody goody. Yes, sir. I right, so this is what we're dealing with right now, folks. Just like a lot of lichen, a lot of exposed rock, really nice views. Pretty cool. But yeah, we just came through this crevasse. Ladybugs somehow up here. All right, folks, some of the sterling. It's kind of windy. But we got some good views here. So we got the big mats here, right there. Madonna over here. And the ski area at Morris down there. 37, 14 feet. Better views than I was up here than it was up here last time. Um, and if you want to see that bit, you can check it out. I'll have it up. I'll have it up in the corner. Nice peak. Glad to be up here again. And uh, we're gonna get started down. So uh, I'll probably see you at Bear Hollow Shelter. We got some rough hiking ahead of us. See ya. All right, folks. We made it to the summit. And it's pretty cold. It's starting to get clouded in because I think it's gonna snow tonight. A lot of snow on the ground. My dad's having a big Reese's in the cup right now. But uh, I put my name in the canister. It's in kind of an open clearing area, but um, really cool. Uh, really nicely put in. So I put my name in there and uh, I came up here on December 11th, 2022. So if you come up here, look for, for my name in there. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have a quick snack and then I think we'll be getting going back down to the car. Uh, it took us about an hour to get up here and uh, probably take a little less than that to get down because we know where we're going and it's faster to go down. So um, there was a cool thing down there. If we go back over it, like a, like a little canyon, I'll just uh, show it to you guys. But, uh, yeah. Bye.